he chose to drink and drive and now someone has died as a result. So I wanted to share this with you. This is something that was sent to me. It was posted on the book of faces. It says, I normally don't post anything, but my kids on here, I don't need sympathy, hugs, notes, prayers, or anything of the sort. What I do need is justice, justice for a person who only lived her life for others, justice for a person who took care of her parents and all of their needs, justice for a person who loved her church and God, justice for a person who went to work every day at Arkansas Children's Hospital and took the absolute best care of those babies as anyone I ever knew. Jennifer Morton was her name. She was 48 years old when she was on her way to work as usual. Some bad person, I will not apologize for my language today, decided to drive drunk and hit her head on and murder her. It was not a tragic accident or a misfortune. It was murder because he didn't accidentally take a drink. He didn't accidentally fall into the driver's seat. He didn't accidentally turn on the car. He didn't accidentally put his foot on the gas. He didn't accidentally run his car headfirst into this young woman who was just on her way to work to care for others. No, he chose to do this and murdered her. Of course, he is fine and alive and was even well enough to run from the scene low life POS. People who drink and drive deserve punishment, not second, third, fourth chances to get it right next time because there may or may not be a next time for someone's family, friend, co-workers. So I hope this finds someone and they think twice about drinking and driving because you are ruining someone else's life. So remember these two faces, one of a murderer and one of his victim. Jennifer, you had your whole life ahead of you and you deserved more. I hope we all take this moment and look at our work family and treat each other how you wanted to be treated. I can't agree more about drinking and driving. It's not a joke. People lose their lives and it's not fair because they didn't do anything to deserve that. And I do wish that there were stiffer penalties for drinking and driving. Whenever I do the weekly arrest, I see people that have been arrested two, three, four times. I actually know someone who's been arrested five times for DWI and still nothing significant has been done. When do we stop allowing people to harm other people or put other people in harm's way because they can't just do what they're supposed to do?